Welcome to the Kingspiration Podcast. This is the place where you'll learn how to get unstuck and gain momentum in your life and business. Each week, we tackle the real aspects of entrepreneurship, personal development, relationships, and fitness. I'm your co-host, Ethan King, from Atlanta, Georgia, USA, entrepreneur, TEDx speaker, and best-selling author of Wealth Beyond Money. And I'm your co-host, Justin King, no relation to Ethan, from Cape Town, South Africa, entrepreneur, speaker, and business growth strategist. Our journey crosses continents and cultures, sharing wisdom and experiences to propel you forward. Welcome to Kingspiration. Let's start the conversation. All right, on today's episode, we are talking about your top three life hacks, tools, apps, but what are the top, top three things that you use, Justin, to get that edge in life? Again, it's so difficult to narrow it down to a top three, but I'm going to give you my top three right now is, mm -hmm. is the lens that I'm looking at this through. First one, I, I enjoy consuming quite a lot of content and that is done through reading and listening to podcasts. Mm -hmm. So I found two amazing, amazing apps that are unbelievable for continuous learning through, through the content that I consume. First one is Readwise. And we'll, we'll put all these links in the show notes. But the first one being Readwise. That allows you to, to sync your Kindle. So I'm a, I, I read on, on a Kindle. And that allows you to sync all your highlights on Kindle directly to Readwise. And it then drip feeds you those learnings on a daily basis via email. You can, mm -hmm. you can choose how many of them you want on a daily basis, whether it's 10, whether it's 15. But from all the books that you've read, it takes... Um, those highlights and it will drip feed through them uh, through to you so that you can revisit those little nuggets that you thought, shit, I have to highlight this. I need to read this again. And it gets sent yeah. through to you. So that's the first very closely aligned to Readwise is an amazing podcast. I don't know what to call it. A podcast player, podcast platform, but mm -hmm. it's called Snipped, S N I P D. And okay. what Snipped allows you to do is you can sync your, whichever podcast uh, platform you, you use the most, whether it's Spotify, whether it's, uh, it's Apple Podcasts, you can sync your subscriptions and it automatically pulls those subscriptions through onto, onto Snipped. And then while you are listening to your podcast, because the reason that I, I love Snipped so much is I listen to podcasts a lot when I'm exercising or if I'm driving. And at that time, it's very difficult to write anything down. So when you yeah. hear a nugget, Either on, if you've got earphones like this, it's a little, a little double tap uh, or on Love the app it. itself on the screen, you can just hit snip and it mm -hmm. takes a perfect one minute little snapshot of whatever it is that you just listened to. And through oh, magic, awesome. which is, which is AI these days, it will mm -hmm. do a little rewind and make sure it captures the perfect, perfect amount, transcribes it, sends it through to you in a format that you can also share on social media. But again, oh, it's wow. a library in your app that you can go and revisit of all these nuggets uh, that you've, you've wow. come across in, in every podcast episode that you've listened to. What I also love about it is a recent feature is you can follow other users of Snipped and see what it is that they're capturing um, as, as mm. quick, great little snippets and things that they're listening to. So from a tech point of view, those are two big standouts for me. Then my next tip is... Just the principle of not feeling like you have to go it alone. I spent a, a long time in my life feeling like I had to, I had to plow ahead and, and forge my path all on my own. Um, I, I used to laugh at this idea of it's not what you know, it's who you know. And I was like, bullshit, I can do things on my own. And that was both in business and my personal life. And yeah, man, over the last, I must admit, and it's, it's not, not actually... It hasn't been a, a, a particularly long period, but over the last couple of years, I've realized that I do really need to, to be able to connect more with people, open up more, share more with people. Um, and that, that's been a game changer for me, being able to really allow people to get to, to know who I am a little bit better and, and be more vulnerable. So the idea of don't go it alone, uh, find people that you can talk to and, and, and start opening up and sharing. I'm certainly not perfect at it. But that's been a game changer for me. That's that's a map. And, and so you might look at me, Ethan, and say, that's not a life hack, just, Justin. That's just how you should live life. But it's something that I possibly found a little bit later in life. And then I've got number three. Um, and, and the last is, is an interesting one for me. It's, it's this principle and it's, it's the idea of 
creating a good habit in your life that just becomes so ingrained, you don't even have to think about doing it. And, and for me, that is exercise. So I've, I've got this, this, this habit of needing to exercise most days. And why I've realized it's such a valuable part of your life is once I started reflecting on some of the challenges that I've had in the last 18 months to 24 months of my, of my life, I realized exercise got me through a lot of that. And if I didn't, and I didn't even think about it at the time, it was just my escape. It was my go-to. It was my, my safe, my safe space, whether I was out going out for a run or whether I was in the gym or whatever it may have been. And it allowed me to clear my head and allowed me to process a lot of things that I was, that I was going through and I was dealing with. And I, I never really saw it as that. And I, at times I, I felt frustrated because I was like, oh, I, sh- I need to get into meditation because that's the way you, and, I, and I've recently realized, you know what, man, you, you had it built in already. You, you made it such a big part of your life that you want, you want to do exercise for an hour a day or whatever it may have been, that it just became this almost this in this built in unfair advantage that I had, that it was just, I didn't have to think about it. It was just became part of who I was, but it really has it's given me like an extra, I almost think about it as like some extra armor that it's given me to take on, on things that the world's throwing at me. So that would be my third. It's just building this, this, I, I think it's a habit of exercise, but for some people it could be the habit of meditation, but just a habit that is so ingrained. It's just part of your life. There's no having to think about doing it. It's just, it is part of your, who you are. That's a wrap for today's episode of Kingspiration. We hope this conversation sparked insights to ignite action in your life and business. We're on this journey together, sharing our challenges and successes to help all of us take the next step towards building momentum and ultimately reaching our goals. If you found value in today's episode, please share it with someone else who might benefit and leave us a five-star review. And remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on our weekly conversations. Until next time, keep rolling, keep growing, and keep being inspired.